Hey everybody, it's John the Other, and uh, the user Black Gnostic Speaks has done a video addressing me, and so I'm going, I've watched part of it, and I'm going to go through all of it and do a response, although his is 14 and a half minutes long, so we're not going to sit through all of it. A lot of it is not relevant to my response, so we'll just take the pieces that are um, of in interest in the response. So let's begin. Okay, the first five and a half minutes of Black Gnostic Speaks' uh, video is of a CNN interview that I am not responding to at all because it really doesn't concern me. Uh, I will begin with uh, the parts of his video that um, I am actually responding to here. The reason for me using this particular clip and for me making this video is dealing with something that I had previously promised that it would be the last topic I would bring up on this particular channel and that's about race. So what I gather uh, that Black Gnostic Speaks is saying in that little clip I just played is that he has previously promised his subscribers and viewers that he would not again uh, talk about race as a topic on his channel. Um, okay, fine. I mean, you talk about what you like. Um, but it kind of makes a question pop up in my mind, and that's, uh, is, is he going to change the name of his channel? I've watched a couple of John the Others videos about what's going on in Missouri. And like most MGTOW commenters, I agree with about 95% of what they talk about, but then there's this 5% that raised the hackles on my neck. Now I wanna put this forward before I get started. I don't mind uh, white people, and I'm gonna use the term white people, commenting on race. Now I'm really um, glad to hear that Black Gnostic Speaks uh, doesn't mind white people talking about race. It's um, very important that, uh, you know, somebody other than a white person approves of me speaking because otherwise I'd have to just remain silent at all times. Really? D d does anybody else notice how silly this sounds? And what black people do in the United States, if they're accurate. Even, what, even if what they have to say is negative about black people, if they are accurate, I have no problem with what they say about black people and race. And I will even co-sign. <laughs> co-sign. So what they're saying is that social justice warriors, and I think they mean to be white social justice warriors, are making up things, or black social justice warriors are making up things Actually, I think this is an important correction to offer. I, I don't care or even notice whether a social justice warrior is white or black or Chinese or, or you know, East Indian or Native American. I don't care what their ethnicity is. It's completely irrelevant. It's not on my radar. I don't care. When I say, when I talk about social justice warriors or where somebody else does, it's not white social justice warriors, it's not Chinese social justice warriors, it's not black, it's just social justice warriors. As a means to protest underneath a false narrative. As a black man in America that's gone through this system, I can tell you undeniably that is absolutely utter fucking bullshit. It takes a hell of a lot of, for black students and black people to protest, to get out in the streets. It's not, it's never over one incident. I can tell you that from being in a couple of Los Angeles riots. It's never over one incident. On that, I agree. So when I hear that all this kerfuffle or this protest and driving out of a president of a university is about some feces drawn on a, a wall in a, in, a, in a student dorm, I can tell you undeniably that's bullshit. Yeah, but Black Gnostic, we both know that the protest is not about the swastika. I mean, that's not in doubt. Even if the swastika is real, even if it was there before the protest happened. It doesn't happen that way because black people don't work that way. And what white folks don't understand is how black people actually work. <laughs> that's one of the most racist things I've ever heard. Um, I just, I, I guess I should put a trigger warning in this video. This is the part where I go off. And I'm going to need a drink. That was one of the most racist things I've ever heard. And, you know, I'm not trying to give you shit here, buddy. But white people need to understand that black people work differently or live differently or 
I don't know, see reality in different colors or something? No, that's crap. That's total nonsense. Everybody is the same bunch of assholes, okay? Food goes in one end, shit comes out the other end, and the rest of the time you act like a jackass. Now, you act like one, I act like one, the guy who lives next to me acts like one, the, the woman who lives across the street is an asshole. Everybody is the same bunch of assholes. There is no black people work differently than everybody else. No, you're not special. You're not different. You're not a magic, you know, snowflake. <laughs> Jesus. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read you another account, not from a student, but from a professor, a tenured professor that's been there for 18 years. Not only did he spit at me, he called me the N-word and gave me the finger. Of course, I responded with, oh yeah, get out of your car, you coward, and say that to my face. He then raced off. So some guy spits out the window of his truck and shouts the N-word, shouts nigger at this woman, who's a professor, with tenure, and she's in her jogging outfit, and she's been jogging, so she's all flushed and looking all hot and, you know, athletic and shit. And her response to being insulted by a drive-by, you know, dickwad is to shout, Get out of your vehicle if you've got any courage, if you're not a coward. This is not the um, behavior of a victim. This is somebody who knows that if shit goes sideways... Every man in visible sight who's in a car driving by or walking along the other side of the street is has got her back if this guy actually jumps out of his pickup truck and, you know, takes a run at her. And if she was a man and said that, well, then she's a moronic asshole. And in either case, despite the fact that she wrote this in her own uh, Facebook blog, uh, this does not make her look like anything other than a tool. <laughs> I have had a student who said he couldn't call me Dr. Frisbee because that would mean that he thinks I am smart. And he was told that blacks are not smart and do not earn degrees without affirmative action. And that is one of the best arguments I have ever heard for getting rid of affirmative action.